so welcome to episode 35 of Credit 101. In this episode, we're going to talk about the different reasons you can put down as in your disputes. So when you're disputing accounts, what are you seeing about these different accounts? Now, I have some listed here, and I'm also going to tell you some additional ones that you can put. And it really depends on what account you have. So depending on the account, you can put that account um, this is not my account. That's something that you can easily put on there. You could just say, hey, this is not my account. And if you put that that is not your account, then they will put the account as fraudulent technically. And then a lot of times they'll just remove it. Also, you can say that the account is unverifiable. Say, say if you send out a dispute letter, the first round told you guys they have 30 days to respond. If they don't respond, you can double back the second month and say this is an unverifiable account. You didn't verify it. And if you just put unverified, and delete this account from my credit reports, I get a lot of results by doing that. A lot of accounts get deleted that way. Also, you can put that I was never late on this account. If you had late payments, you can put I was never late on this account. Or you could put things like this account is reporting late. That is an error. Please update it as paid as agreed. You can put different things like that. But basically, you were not late. Also, you can put this account was included in bankruptcy. I told you guys when you guys are working to remove bankruptcies from your credit reports, I would not suggest you update that as this was included in bankruptcy until that bankruptcy is completely off of there because you can contact the creditor right away and, and after you get the bankruptcy removed say, hey, you're not reporting this correct. This was included in bankruptcy. You're going against those laws and then they can go ahead and remove it on their end. Also, you can put that this account is identity theft. You can just clearly say this is identity theft. This is not mine. This is identity theft. And that's another way you can get it removed. Also, if you guys have medical bills, put that as a HIPAA violation. That's something that's great if you guys have medical debt. Put that as a HIPAA violation. Don't forget we have our rules that they cannot put debt uh, if it's under a certain amount in medical payments. I talked to you guys about that previously. So make sure you all put on there, too, that this debt is too low to be on my credit reports. It has not been 180 days. They can't put this on my credit reports. Or it hasn't been a year. They cannot put this on my credit reports. Those are a few things that you can put on there. Again, you can also, if it's a collection, I like to also say that they're re-aging this debt. This, this account is being re-aged. This account belongs to someone else. You can also um, put that. This is also untimely. This account is untimely. You guys did not investigate this in a certain uh, amount of time. Delete this from my credit reports. There are so many things that you guys can put on this, but I, all, on your letters, but I always have this inside my exclusive membership where you can know all the different reasons, all the different letters also that you can send in. But let's go to episode 36 where I'm going to show you the different dispute letters that you can send out. And then I'll also tell you some additional reasons that you can put on these dispute letters. See you there.